The only thing worse than trying to find something when Gypsy has hit it is when somehow I've hit it from myself. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for a straw. I see a lot of things in here. Like a lot of things in here, but I don't see the straw. It's not supposed to be there. No, I don't do the dishes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, who has time to try dishes? <laughs> you live a very privileged life. Uh, I don't have that luxury. <laughs> dishes get washed and they get put away right away. I managed to get all the dishes put away, but I still haven't found the straw. Honestly, what did I do with it? I've checked the kitchen. I checked my bathroom. <gasps> I found you. That's yesterday's lemon water drink. Oh, do I see dead bugs in there? Yay, let's go wash that up. Don't think I'll ever eat bugs. And again, I don't really know. Did I ever grow up thinking I would eat any kind of animal? No, or vegetable? No, I just ate. I ate what was in front of me. What did you eat? The truth of that is that what I didn't, whatever was put in front of me, what I didn't like, I didn't eat. I didn't let my parents force me to eat something. I never have. I've never let anyone force me to eat something. And I never will. So long as I always have a choice. And if that choice is that I fast and I don't eat, then that's the choice I make. <laughs> so I don't know. I can't honestly say whether or not I would eat bugs. Uh, it wouldn't be my first choice. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, between you and I, the only way that we could feed the world on insects is if you factory farm those insects because if you take from nature you're going to starve nature and then you starve all of life so and then when you start factoring other things into farming insects like what can people do with those insects what are they going to put in those insects that are going to go into our bodies right like what do they put in cows and sheep and other creatures we don't know I don't know what's in a vaccination. I just know that before vaccinations, animals lived and died and farmers dealt with it. Now suddenly, you know, we have this whole dependency on needing to vaccine our animals, to vaccinate them, like why? If you're not willing to vaccinate yourself, why are you forcing your animal to vaccinate? I don't force my cat to vaccinate. She's had two needles her entire life. When I found out that she didn't need all those extra vaccines because she was an indoor cat, you can give it to it, but it produces cancer in your cat. I didn't want to do that. We never vaccinated or dewormed our, well, sometimes we would deworm, but we'd do ashes from wood. You mix it in with the food and the ash destroys. It's like a black charcoal stuff. Maybe that's what it's called, the black charcoal that you brush your teeth with. I have it, tons of it here. Well, I don't have tons of it, but I have some here. It's kind of like that, but it's ash and it, it kills the the worms and the, and the eggs, the larvae. So that's how we dewormed our animals. We never had a vet come. I had four ponies growing up. Polly fell down and broke her leg. Well, my dad had to, had to shoot her. And that's what people did. That's what we did before vaccinations and before euthanasia and like, how did farmers get so reliant on big pharma? They need to put fertilizers on their crops, and what did they do in the old days? So, where was I going with that? I don't know, this is two, it's two minute time out zone, so I think I'm just gonna chill and then take you in the back room. Where I come from, there's an old saying that uh, somebody doesn't like you, wants to put you out of your misery, they're gonna take you either behind the barn or in the back 40. Sometimes they take you in the back room. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs>